Welcome to another 3DS Max warm-up. We're going to create a muzzle, blaster, barrel, whatever you want to call it. So we go to plane, and in our top view, you're going to create a plane. We're going to go to modify, call it muzzle or barrel or something. But we're going to do dimensions. We're going to do 80 by 40 and 3 by 3. Right? You can center it if you want to, not a big deal. So this is a little bit easier to see. Okay, we can convert this to editable poly. We're going to go to edge mode, so you have to turn on your edges. Go to swift loop, and we're going to add a loop. Uh, let's do one at the top and one at the bottom. We go turn that off. We go to polygon mode. We're gonna select these three polygons, control clicking each one, and we're gonna do an inset because we wanna have that good poly flow because we're gonna make this be a curve. We got that. We're gonna switch to let's just do edge mode because it's a little bit easier. But we're gonna click this edge and this edge, and we're gonna do scale. So that's that would be this scale right here. And on the X, we're going to scale that in just to make it get that nice uh, shape here. We can go back to polygon mode. They're still selected, you can see. We're going to just hit delete and make a hole. There we go. We're going to turn off polygon mode. Right? We don't want any modes on. You're going to go to the modifier list. Uh, actually, let's skip that. Let's uh, actually create our array first. We're going to go to tools, array. We're going to do a copy, first thing, type of object, copy. We're going to do four of these. I suppose we could do five, but four. Let's do preview on. And on the X, right, we can drag them out. So it looks like, I'm estimating it's probably going to be 40, I bet. Yep. Remember, we did 80 by 40. It's 40. So if you do it every 40 on the X, they're right beside each other. So we click OK. OK, then you can go to element mode. And under Edit Geometry, we're going to go to Attach. And you're going to click each one of these objects. This is a very important step to make sure that this is one object. So it it's now, you can turn that off. It's now one object called Muzzle 03. I'm just going to delete that because I want it to be just Muzzle. Yay. Now we're going to do Bend Modifier. Right? The angle is 360 degrees. And this is on the X. Voila. Right, so now we have kind of the shape. Now you're really seeing it come to life. Right, so uh, that's good. Now we have some problems here because the points aren't welded. So we're going to put on Edit Poly on top. We're going to go to Points Mode and just drag select everything. And then we're going to go to Weld Settings. So point 0.1 is enough in this case. So it goes 128 and it's welding. 24 points because we're down to 104 now. So we check that. That's good. We're going to turn off our vertice mode. And now we're going to do a shell modifier. So I'm going to hit S twice. Go to shell. Set the outer amount to zero because we don't want it have going out. We want it to go in. And the inner we're going to do four. So it squeezes it in four. There we have our nice uh, shape there. And I'm going to do another edit poly. And you know, we could have done some of these steps before, but like polygon mode, I'm going to click and then shift click. And I'm going to pull this out just a little bit uh, for some detailing. And I'm going to shift click those and then I'm going to go ahead and extrude this out. And I'm going to also take these. So I'm just drag selecting to get all of those. And let's do.
Let's do an inset at zero, okay? And then we're gonna scale it. We're gonna use our front view and actually scale it on the X and Y. So we did that inset. There's our inset, right? That's our hidden inset right there. So we kind of got that barrel going on. And that's probably pretty good. Uh, I would I would call that good for now. Uh, you could turn off that, put on your turbo smooth. I would do by smoothing groups. And we kind of have a, a barrel. Now we do need some more geometry for the turbo smooth to work correctly. All right, so we'll go ahead and click and then shift click. Select those and inset. Inset. And then do an extrude by local normal. Do like a negative two. All right, so now to fix this up a little bit, we're gonna go to polygon mode. Let's select these four, six, eight polygons now. Get that one. Nope. And then we can just do scale on the Y or not. Oh, we're going to have to right click, convert this to a vertice selection, and then we can scale these in. Okay, that's a little bit better. Um, I'm also going to shift click these and do an inset. Um, let's just do uh, 0.5 and once you do one you can simply do your inset on the other ones there we go or do them all at once however you want to do that and then let's check out what our turbo smooth looks like now a lot better a little weird smoothing going on here so let's Back to edit poly. Let's also do a swift loop. Right there. And if it's being difficult, uh, you could just not use swift loop and do your edge and do ring and then do connect if that helps. Uh, that can kind of make it easier. All right, let's go ahead and select this whole thing and then under polygon smoothing groups, we're gonna do auto smooth. We go back up to our turbo smooth and you can see this is much, much better, uh, closer to what we're looking for. And I could make you know, a bunch more tweaks, but we're just trying to keep this uh, short for some fun practice. Um, but we could uh, clean up this geometry on the inside as well, um, or add what any any other details that we would like uh, to add in. There we go.